Today I want to talk to you about customer delight. If we think about customer delight is failure or success, then we have to think about failures internally and how they are perceived as failures externally. If we think about all of our coworkers that we work with as internal customers and our customers who buy our products and services and who we support as external customers, we can then see how working together internally is going to be very important. Marketing has its role in sales that if we have a customer delight externally, we're going to have new sales. If we have professional services, take a look at customer delight. Delivering what the customer expectations are, are going to take all of us to ensure that we know what those customer expectations are. And we work together to do our internal deliveries to each and every one of the sections. HR has to think about hiring quality employees and keeping and retaining them. We have to think about keeping the system running smoothly and making sure people are taken care of and feel supported externally. We have to make sure bills are paid and that the organization has a really good financial health uh, that we can keep moving and we can doing research and development so that we always continue to offer a world-class product. Let's talk about failure internally. 85% of the reasons for failure are deficiencies caused by systems and process rather than employees. Edward Deming. This is a great statement because if we think about process and systems, if we don't have smooth running process and systems, that means 85% of the time that could fail. So as we grow as a company, as we grow quicker and bigger, we're gonna to have to think about our workflows and our processes that we do to get our deliverables done. We're no different than our customers. So again, as we grow as fast as we are, we're all going to have to work internally and we're going to have to make sure that we understand our roles and responsibilities. This is going to be very important to delivering that customer delight to our external customers. We're gonna work on how do we measure our external customers are happy, I guess, if you look at the word delight. How are we going to measure that? Well, it's going to take, how is the system running? Are they being supported? Are we addressing their issues in a timely manner? Are we negotiating contracts that they feel are fair and reasonable? Are we giving them employees that they feel comfortable working with and that they're going to trust to get the work done? These are all important circles around each other. And if we don't work together to ensure that we're all working towards the same goal, then we will fail. It's important for all of us to work together and we will see success beyond our expectations. Thanks for listening. And if you have any comments, please get a hold of me.